Hello, my fellow nerds. I do not have an intro, so I'm just going to give it to you. This is the Nerd in Texas podcast, where I talk about TV shows, movies, books, video games, anything that you can think of that might you might consider nerdy. So, normally I go on and on and on about how to find me on social medias, but I now have a website. It is nerdintexas.com. Go check it out, please. I have all my social medias on there. That's where I'm going to be doing all my updates as well. Um, You can find, follow, like, where to follow me. Um, I haven't put my Discord up there yet. Um, I'm about to explain why in a minute. So I'll get my Discord up there, and you guys can talk to me on a personal level on Discord. There's a chat room and all that fun stuff. And shout out to Mr. Uh, Developer for helping, or... I now know his name is Jacob, so thank you so much, Jacob, for helping me out. Um, I am on Twitch. I'm trying to start streaming on Twitch. Um, I will fill you in on all of my mishaps here in a minute. Um, I also have I have it set up with my Twitch to accept donations, but for those of you who do not follow Twitch, I have a Kofi page. And it's, you literally buy me a virtual cup of coffee, or you literally leave me, like, a virtual tip in my tip jar. And that is um, $3. I also have commissions or incentives, if you want to call it, where it's a dollar. You can ask me any question you want. $3 is a shout-out. And then $10, you get to choose what I talk about on my podcast. (gasps) That's so awesome, right? Right? So, um... With all my mishaps, I am in Texas. It is a, like, record-breaking, historic winter storm. Like, Elsa was walking through Texas, and one, so it started one night, um, everything froze over. Like, trees just accumulated ice and were just falling, and then one night it just snowed. So we had, like, six inches of snow. And then last night, it iced over. So it was like a Elsa Oreo, where it's like ice, snow, and then ice. And so they say that that's like the most dangerous thing. And millions of Texans have been without power. Last night, I'm in the, in the middle of streaming on Twitch, and my power went out. So um, I'm going to do things a little bit differently on this podcast, just because I'm so afraid of the power going out. Um, I've had no water for the past four days, so I'm also kind of scared to twitch because I'm looking funky. <laughs> like, I've been doing, like, baby wipe, but, like, cleaning up and stuff, you know, but I haven't been able to take a shower, and it really stinks. Like, it really sucks. But hopefully just one more day of this, and everything starts thawing out, and everything will start doing better, um... I felt like a shield maiden earlier today, if you follow me on Instagram. Uh, And and if you know me on a personal level, you know I love anything Vikings. Because I discovered I am descendants from Vikings. And so I was a full-on shield maiden. I had a pickaxe. And I was breaking apart, like, a frozen pile of firewood. Because we were running out of firewood. Um, I've been having to stay at my mom's. My mom lives next door to me. So it's not like I go that far. But, um... So, yeah, we're just trying to keep warm over here. Um, Yeah, it really sucks. So, let's get started on this podcast. Uh, Today is Star Wars Wednesday. Um, Because of all the mishaps, I haven't been able to keep up with my schedule, and it really stinks. But today, I'm going to be giving you a list. A list of all things Disney Plus is going to be releasing um, uh, that's Star Wars related. Okay? Okay. So the, um, I'm getting all this information from Esquire.com. Normally, I come up with my own list. I come up with my own words. I come up with all of my own stuff. But because I'm kind of in a, oh, I don't want the power to go out crunch, um, I'm giving you a list directly from Esquire.com. That's all Star Wars, new Star Wars shows on Disney+. Plus. So first and foremost, we already know all this, is The Mandalorian Season 3. I'm definitely curious about how they're going to go about season three, because as we know, in season two, um, he kind of fulfills his quest. I'm not going to say what, because in case if someone hasn't seen season two, I don't want to give away any spoilers. But um, it's um, 
I guess it's going to be kind of like, uh, like a almost kind of like an Indiana Jones type thing. At least that's what I'm seeing. And um, Harrison Ford. It says Harrison Ford will be back to continue his iconic character's journey. How that's going to happen? It's going to be pretty pretty crazy, I guess. Um. We have a uh, Lando that's going to be coming out. That's it's an iconic character played by Billy D. Williams and Donald Glover, and he will get his very own spin-off event series from Dear White People's Justin Simeon. I think that's how you say it. And the next one that I'm okay, so that's the one that's going to be more like a Indiana Jones type thing, and Harrison Ford's supposed to be coming back, and it's from the director of Ford versus Ferrari and. All that and it, all that fun stuff, and it's supposed to be coming out um, July two thousand twenty-two. So we'll see about Lando, and then this one is the one that I'm most excited about, and that's Obi Wan Kenobi. Obi no Obi Wan Kenobi is going to be getting his own series. It's going to be original series, and it's going to be based on ten years after the dramatic effects of Revenge of the Sith. Hayden Christian return, returns as Darth Vader, and I love Hayden Christensen. I know he got a lot of crap for being Darth Vader, but to me, Star Wars and the Star Wars fandom, they can tend to be bullies. Like, if they, it's not what they want. They are kind of mean. Um, so I'm very, very, very excited about that. Um, the series is directed by Deborah Chow, who helmed a few episodes of The Mandalorian. Um, I guess it's been in development for years, and finally, they kind of, like, announced it. I guess they were waiting to see if Hayden Christensen wanted to come back or not, because I've heard speculation that Hayden Christensen actually did not want to come back because of all the, the you know, bullying and the backlash that he got for not playing a great Darth Vader. Sorry if you hear weird noises. I'm messing with my microphone because it just, for some reason, doesn't sound great in this one ear that I have. The next one is Andor, and it's going to be a Cassian Andor series. It's another one that Disney Plus has been teasing, and they finally just announced that it's going to be out. And that one is described as a tense, nail-biting spy thriller. The cast includes um, K2SO is going to be back, and... Uh, Stellan Skarsgård's gonna be in it, and like I said, if you know me, you know I'm a Viking, and you know I love anything Scandinavian, and I love my Skarsgård boys. Ugh. It's gonna be good. If they're in it, it's gotta be good. And you know, Cassian Andor is from Rogue One, so I'm definitely kind of excited to f see his backstory, because you don't really see his backstory in Rogue One, so that's kind of cool. And then this one is another one that I'm excited about. It's another one that is my favorite, and that is Ahsoka. Um, it's going to be an original series starring Rosario Dawson and set within the time limit of The Mandalorian. So it's kind of going to be like, um, I, I wonder if it's going to lead up, like, if they're going to do an episode where it's going to be her point of view from when Mandalorian finds her in season two. And it's um, played by Rosario Dawson. She is one of the most, like, amazing actresses. I love her. I loved her in... Uh, was she in Daredevil? Was it? Yeah. I think she was in Daredevil on Netflix. And I can't think of the other one. Ugh. It's going to kill me. I'm going to remember it at, like, 2 in the morning. <laughs> I'm going to be like, oh, that's what it was. But um, another one coming out is Rangers of the New Republic. It's going to be a new original series set within the timeline of The Mandalorian. And it's um, a live action series from Jon Favreau. So another Jon Favreau series where um, it will intersect with future stories and accumulate into a cinematic story event. So that or climactic story event. I'm sorry. So that sounds, that sounds cool. Another one is called The Alkalite. A Russian doll creator. Um, Headline Helm, a new series that Disney describes as a mystery thriller that will 
Take the audience into a galaxy of shadowy secrets and emerging dark side powers in the final days of the High Republic era. So it's going to be, this is an era 200 years before the events of the main Star Wars saga where the Jedi were at the height of their power. So that is kind of rad. I want to be able to see like the Jedi being the ones that are like, yeah. (laughs) We are now going to also have a series called The Bad Batch. So if you're a fan of the Clone Wars series like I am, the animated series, you'll remember a group of elite experimental clones known as The Bad Batch. And Disney describes this new animated series um, as they find their way in a rapidly changing galaxy in an immediate aftermath of the Clone War. Members of the Bad Batch, a unique squad of clones who vary genetically from, from their brothers in the clone army, each possess a singular exceptional skill which makes them extraordinarily effective soldiers and a formidable crew. In the post-Clone War era, they will take on daring mercenary missions as they struggle to stay afloat and find a new purpose. So it's basically the bad batch of of anyone that they consider a a bad clone, I guess. And they try to, like, I don't know, kick them out of the group, I guess. But then they end up forming their own group, which is kind of cool. The next one is Star Wars Visions, an originally series of an animated short films that celebrate the Star Wars galaxy through the lens of the worlds of Japanese anime creators. I am so excited for that one because I know that's going to be one where me and my daughter Bailey will be able to, like, we'll watch together because she loves anime. And honestly, if you ever look up Star Wars, like, anime versions of things, it is so rad and it is so awesome and i'm totally i'm for it i am all for it because it looks awesome and i apologize my levels have been all crazy so i'm sorry if i sound really loud so we're also going to have one called a droid story it wouldn't be disney if there wasn't a cute new droid that could be merchandised i guess um lucasfilm describes it as an Intersection of animation and visual effects that follows a new hero guarded by R2-D2 and C-3PO. So that's, like, C-3PO, he hasn't really been in a whole lot of the new Star Wars. Um, you know, of course, he has that, the one in the end, and R2-D2 comes back when Luke Skywalker comes back. And I think C-3PO only has, like, one line, which kind of sucks, because, like... I don't, uh, yeah, I mean, I have my own, (laughs) my own opinion about, um, the new Star Wars, like, the Star Wars movies, which I'll probably do, like, a podcast episode about that, so, um, I won't get too much into it right now, but, so those are the ones, those are the new Star Wars series coming out, and there's so many of them that I'm excited for, so many of them that I will be probably doing a podcast every time an episode comes out. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, hit me up. Like, if you have anything you want me to talk about, if you have anything you want me to watch, anything you want me to research, anything you, you know, anything that you want to hear about, message me, get at me, tell me, you know, I will be more than happy to, to accommodate and to research it if I don't know what it is. Um, like I said, you can find me on Discord. I have my website. I have an email now. Oh, I forgot to say that. I have an email now. It's Chanel at nerdintexas.com. S-H-A-N-E-L. Follow me on Instagram where you can see all my updates about this snow and this storm and how crazy it is and how me and my kids are just getting into all kinds of trouble <laughs> with the snow. Um... If you are in Texas, please stay warm. Stay warm. If you don't have power, um, do whatever you can. Bundle up in blankets. Do what you got. Do not leave your home. Do not get in a car and leave. Like like I said, it is ice, snow, and then ice. And it's very dangerous. And um, I know where, I am at, where I'm at in Texas. Uh, the police department has said, if we see you out, we're, gonna, we're fining you. So please stay home. Please stay safe. Please stay warm. I'm going to wrap up this podcast. That way, if the power goes out, um, it'll be done. It'll be finished. Um, I love you guys. Please get at me. Please 
you know, message me, talk to me. Like I said, I'm on Discord. You got like you have no idea how overwhelming and how over like excited I am that I am able to communicate with you guys and I'm able to do um this stuff. So just I can't even explain it. I can't even explain like how overwhelmingly like excited and special and happy that I feel like <laughs> it's just like it's, I I don't know like I really just did this podcast and I really thought I was just going to be talking to myself and now that I hear people who are like oh I listen to your podcast or oh I told my friend about this and I told my friend about your podcast and this is what he says and this is what I say and you know and it's just awesome so if you have any questions if you have Please tell me what you're looking forward to most. Tell me with that list that I just gave you, which one are you excited about? Because I know which ones I'm excited about, but I want to know which ones you are excited about. Hopefully, like, I'll be able to get this podcast rolling a little bit more and I'll be able to do, like, giveaways and stuff. I'm kind of, I kind of, that's kind of what I want to do. So, um, I hope everybody has a great day. Have everybody has a great Wednesday. Like I said, stay warm. Be good, be nice, and...